Hey guys, um, this is from a Code HS course on changing circles, and I thought I would do this one um, for my students, and so it's a little bit not so intuitive on how to do this. So it kind of jumps from being pretty straightforward to a little crazy. So if you look in your docs, you can kind of see all the stuff you're going to need. So we're going to use the randomizer for random stuff. So if you look at that real quick, you click on randomizer, it'll tell you that basically you can create integers by doing low and high as parameters you can do true or false booleans you can even do colors you can actually just randomize colors um you can so you could by the way make a variable color and that's what i'm actually going to do in my code uh, what is the assignment so let's look at it real fast it says write a program that creates a list of num circles so let's start let's just start writing so num of uh, bar num circles i don't like using all that syntax but whatever so we'll make a list okay um on the screen that has different sizes from min radians min radius we'll, uh, we'll set the minimum radius to and max radius so these are in pixels so we'll just go from 10 to 15 pixels and we're also going to have a delay. So every delay, so var delay equals, I don't know. And they're in milliseconds, so we'll do a tenth of a second. Um, all the circles should have the same color. So this is an important piece right here. All the colors need to be the same color at all times. So we're not going to change them all randomly. We're going to change the color for all of them. Uh, you know, so it's a little different than what you would expect, like on their example. Okay, so we're going to create three functions. So let's, first of all, and I deleted this, but you always end up with a function start. So this would be in there. And it would say write your code here, right? So we're going to write three functions. The first is called change colors. Okay. And what does this do? It just generates a random color that's not very hard that's actually one of the randomizers so that's a stupid function but anyways we'll just keep going I'm just reading the directions here so the second function it says create random circle create random circle and it's going to let's write the comment create a circle on screen this is important actually with a radius and coordinates all right and we're also going to create a calls create random populate the screen with circles. <laughs> that was awful. Okay. Okay, so let's see, how do we want to start? Um, this one is going to actually populate the screen. So if we're going to call this one right here, we might as well start with this one. So we can't write this code until we have this. So let's create a random circle. So in my docs, I'm going to go to circle and look at how do you create a circle. Now, by the way, this is on code HS. So this is kind of similar to processing, but it's not exactly. In fact, it's actually more like Greenfoot. If you're familiar with Greenfoot, um, this a lot of these things that I've seen in here remind me of Greenfoot, which is a Java programming language. It's a very cool little animation language, that, but we don't use that in this class. But you might have seen that before if you're not in my class and watching this video. So let's go ahead and look at the circles. So we can make a new circle pretty simple. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'll just use far circle. I guess I could have just copied and pasted it. I'll just use C equals new circle. Uh, and it's going to have a radius, uh, so we'll just say rad. 
So I'm going to have to make a variable, you see. There's no radius. So let's make that first. So var rad equals randomizer. So we're going to make it a random. It says to make them random. So we're going to do between the min radius and the max radius. So we'll say next int and then low to high. So we'll go min radius to max radius. Okay. All right. So that makes that. And then we'll make a circle with that radius. So we'll import that into the parameter for the circle function. Now you have to also, you, you have to like add it to the screen. So let's do add C. So what does this actually do? Um, when you add the C, this actually puts it onto, does it show it here? Here it is right there. So it adds it to the screen. We want to be able to see this. Okay, we want this to appear when we run it. So when we run it in this canvas here, it'll appear. Um, let's actually, I guess it doesn't matter if you do it before but or not, but it might be confusing. So I, I'm going to do, let's set its position. And let's just have it be... Um, an X and a Y that we're going to also generate. So let's generate random variables for that. So we'll do var X equals randomizer. So each comp each one of these will have a different radius and a different X and a different um, a different um, position. So we'll do randomizer next int, and we'll do um, from between zero and uh, I guess just the width. So we'll just do get width. So that is the width of the canvas. This is a function that returns how wide the canvas is. So the lowest it could be is zero. The biggest it could be is the canvas. By the way, if you don't set the position, it'll just be at zero, zero, which is the top left corner, just like in processing. Var y equals randomizer. Next int zero get height. So same exact thing, only with the Y. So, all right, and then we can set the position to there, and then we can add it. Okay, so that'll create a random circle. Now, what do we want to do? We want to actually push this um, to our list. So this is all of our circles. This is called num circle. That's a stupid name for a list, but that's what they gave. They told us to use. So we're going to use theirs. So we'll go. The name of our list is num circles. Okay, and we're going to push. That's how you do it. We're going to push this object there. Okay, num circles push C. So now this num circles is into our. Um, okay, so that should work. So let's first try this actually. Um, okay, so we'll actually, the, let, let's just run our code to see if we have any compile errors. So, okay, we're okay in terms of all of our code. Let's do this now. Let's let's do uh, a for loop. We'll go for. Oh wait, I don't want to push that. Hmm. I'm gonna actually do it a different way. I'm gonna do return C. Uh, I'm gonna push it here. I'm gonna put it in the create circles. So for var i equals zero, i is less than. Let's start with ten circles. I plus plus. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do it in here. So I'm going to return the object, the circle object, um, after I create this. So I'm going to say, um, what is it? Num circles was the name. Num circles dot push. Here's where we're going to do it. And we'll do um, create random circle. So we'll, we're going to push the object that's going to get returned from this function, create random circle, okay? Which will also add it to the screen. So it'll be both. It'll it'll push it into our list so we can access it later and also draw it to the screen. Okay, now nothing's going to happen yet until I call it. So let's do ahead and create uh, circles. Let's see if this works. Uh, create circles. Uh, Maz. Okay, so now we're going to find all of our mistakes. That's all right. I should. Okay, so it's actually working. So these are random circles. You can see each time I run it, it's, they're different. Different size and different location. Okay. All right, now we want to change the color. So actually, all you got to do is. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Um, we'll do var color equals 
randomizer dot what is it set next color i think that's what it is let's just really look real fast randomizer where's the randomizer yeah next color okay so this will make a, a random color and what we're going to do is we're going to go for um we're going to go through the entire loop of the list we'll go through all of them i is less than what is it num circles dot length so let's go through all of our guys there and then i plus plus okay so for all of the circles in the list, however long they are, we're going to go in and we're going to go um, num circles um, i. So this is the specific circle in that list of num circles. Again, dumb name, num circles. Um, num circles i dot set color, and we'll just put it as color. Okay, so this color variable right here will get put inside of there okay so okay so now we want to do this let's see if this works let's do change colors and it will only happen once but you can see at least it's doing that so every time I run the program it creates circles and then changes their colors now if you want to do it over and over again because if you look at it it says a delay every milliseconds so this we got to incorporate. So by the way, how do you do that? If you click on Docs, it'll take you to, um, let's see, Timers. It's got to be here. Timers, Stop Timer, Set Timer. Uh, yeah, actually, this is it. So it's actually a timer. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Set Timer, Function, Comma, Delay. So this is FN stands for the function. Notice it's the function without the parentheses. It's the name of the function. So instead of writing change colors, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to actually, I'll just comment this out for now. So remember, this would just happen once. This function is not an infinite loop. It just happens once. But if you do set timer, it'll, it'll basically do this as many times as you want based on your delay. So we'll put the function name, which is change colors, but we're not going to put the parentheses, just the name. This is a little bit weird. I don't think any of my students have done this before. And then we can write delay. Delay has already been defined outside of the main function. So now let's just see if this works. OK, so it's a little quick. It's, so if you do like 1,000 milliseconds, that's one second. So there, boom, boom, boom. OK. And notice that they're all changing because when I did change colors, I did it in here. If you would put this line of code right here inside of the loop. So if I accidentally put it here, which is I think what a lot of us do intuitively, then every one of these will have a separate color. So it's it depends on what you want to do. This assignment specifically asks that all the circles should be the same color. So we actually want this line of code to be outside of the loop so that it doesn't change as we go through from each from zero to however many circles we have. And by the way, if we change the number of circles, we just do that down here. So we could do like 100 circles if we wanted to. It doesn't say how many circles to make. It just said to make. And I agree, by the way, that I like it better if this was inside of here <laughs> because it's. I think it's just cooler looking. So, all right. I think that's it. I think that you guys um, should be able to complete this exercise now. And hope you guys enjoy the video. Talk to you later.